636 in our continuing coverage, a family in Vail is still honoring their teen son who they lost to suicide nearly four years ago. Our Brooke Chow is in studio this morning. Brooke, you're sharing part of a very intimate conversation and looking at their new project to help other teens and families in our community. Definitely. I've shared with you many stories over the past year on how Ethan Ardrew's family is doing ever since he passed in 2020. Now, for the first time ever, Ethan's family welcomed us inside their home for an exclusive sit down interview as we reflect on the past four years and the progress that they've made in the Vale community. Ethan's mom, Christina, walks us through the same hallway that her son did each and every day. And then that's when we got the puppies. In Disneyland, we we're in the Bahamas there. That's his lake. That's another one of his lake. Reflecting on how empty these walls feel without Ethan here, while also taking a pause to remember the person that he will always be. You talk about a great brother. He exceeded that. So loving, so kind, so thoughtful. Sitting down for her first in-person interview ever, she explains to me why it's taken her so long to welcome people to her day-to-day -day life. I just feel like my heart wasn't there yet. Mm -hmm. So I feel now that You're we're ready. I'm ready to keep Ethan's name alive as long as I can, and that's my goal. Yeah. He deserves to have his name. He deserves to have his name as live as long as he should have been. So I'll do it till the day I die. Christina and I talked about everything, the different phases of grief and how she is really doing ever since she lost her son, who would be turning 17 years old this month. Yeah. I saw this quote when I thought of you recently, and it said, when something bad happens in your life, your world stops, but everybody else around you yeah. keeps living. It's I mean, so you're true. still a mom. You're still a wife. You're still a sister. Yeah. You still have all of these things to do. Did your life ever come to a point where you thought it was going to stop too? Oh, yeah. 100%. Spreading a reminder that you are not alone no matter how heavy it may feel. We put these out and we have people come pick them up and put them out. And I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me going, oh my gosh, I found this at the right moment in my life. Touching the lives and hearts of so many people, Christina hopes Ethan's light shines down on those who may need it the most. Now next Saturday, Ethan's family is hosting a mental health and awareness walk at Sienega High School from 10 to 1 in hopes to raise awareness for mental health. This is all through the Ethan Arjury Project and I'll of course have more information for you on my Facebook as well as our website. Guys. Brooke, thank you. I mean, it's definitely not an easy topic, especially for a parent to, mm -hmm. you know, to address like that. So I'm just so grateful that they're sharing their story and they're doing so much good work. That's right. Them. And Maybe. putting uh, work out there to help other families who could be in a similar situation. Yeah. This is about making a difference, you know, one teen, one family at a time. Yeah, absolutely.